Did you know that many drones miss their returns home targets by up to several meters? How accurate is the return home features? Let's find out. Today we are putting DJI's new Neo drone to the test. Specifically, its return home feature. This is crucial element for everyone drone pilot, ensuring your expensive gear returns safely and lands exactly where it took off from. Sorry, everything is recording by home. Today I'm trying a return home test in both natural and urban environments. So the day when I record this video, I have really really nice sunny day, a little bit windy. So many times is coming up the wind alarm on left left corner screen and I have a nice landing pad as you can see I just pop it out three pins so make sure the wind is not blowing away and also protect the drone itself so I made a phone screen recording where you can see all the details. Later I will also show a new return home illustration. Even if I am far away with the drone and turn the camera forward myself, a little RTH sign pops up. I'm just doing a quick setup, make sure I have a right place to return to home. So I try to exactly landing on the pad. So let's go away. Take off a little bit of phone screen so we can nice view about areas. Nice wide open little ships over here. They are really scary, they just start running away. Wow. So now I gotta be start the return home zone. Yeah, you can see the point just over there. Okay, press return to home. And the illustration is coming up as you can see. Oh, I lost the signal. Just wait for a signal to come back. And you can see now, okay, now start again. So the illustration is coming up. I did set up 30 meter high. So we reached a high point and it start coming to me. Strong wind still. Yeah, this, this little drone is, is very struggling with the struggling with the high winds. So the future I want to test for wind as well. I just speed up these little boring windows. And here it is, it's doing a landing and we will see if its final result is landing on the pad or just next to it. That's I exactly what I expected. It didn't land on the pad. Now I'm going to measure the distance using a highly calibrated tool. My foot. One, one, two, three and a half step from my back heel to my front toe, toe which is around one meter per step. So it landed about three and a half meter or 11.5 feet away from the target point. All right, I just jump back to the next location, urban this time. I'm in the middle of my tiny town and the sun is still shining. Let's rock and roll. My super bright fancy landing pad is ready. Quick setup and I am all set to fly. Take off. I'm just trying to set up the home point with really high accuracy and flying away now just doing a quick fly around speeding up the video again yeah. and landing has started
This time it's a bit better, closer now, around 2 meters, 6.5 feet from the target. Alright, that's it for today. The landing was closer this time, but still not perfect. I will be keep testing to improve accuracy. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips or want to see more drone experiments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. See you in the next video. Happy flying!